So this video is going to be about senior Medicare flex cards. And this video is pretty exciting because everybody's talking about flex cards. I get phone calls all the time that say, Brian, I heard about this flex card that's free. People are getting products. I see it on television. I don't know what stations are playing these commercials about them, but this is really a sales pitch for certain plans when it comes to Medicare. So in this video, I'm going to discuss not only flex cards, but I'm going to go over what you get with the flex cards and also what plans have flex cards and the difference between the plans that have them and the plans that don't have them. But before I get started, if you don't know who I am, my name is Brian Monahan. I've been working with people going on to Medicare and people on Medicare for the past 15 years. And in my videos, I try to show you raw data so that you can make a decision on different plans, whether it's Medicare Supplement or Medicare Advantage plans that you want to purchase. So let's jump right into it. I have here first, the flex cards really go with the Medicare Advantage plans. And so one of the biggest questions that people have is, should I go with a Medicare Advantage or is there another option that is better for me. What the flex card is, is basically when you get a Medicare Advantage plan from a lot of these companies, it's an over the counter card. And I pulled up some of the companies that have it. First thing I'll pull up is the um, United Healthcare AARP flex card. Now, when I call them, the thing about United Healthcare is I said, can you please send me a um, over the counter booklet on PDF? It's a huge company, United Healthcare. They kept transferring me, and I said, you know what? I have enough companies. Let me just uh, show what I have on a PDF. And if you see here, you get a $90 credit every quarter to buy covered over the counter products. So, what are these over the counter products? Well, let's jump over to Aetna, and this is their over the counter um, booklet, I guess you would say. And I'll go all the way up to the front page here, so bear with me. They have cold and flu, diabetes care, digestive care, eye care, foot care, uh, home diagnostic, uh, pain relief, personal care, skin care, sleep aids, all these vitamins and supplements. So if you scroll through, now Aetna, United Healthcare. Humana, they're going to give you different amounts of money on your flex card for different plans. So I will not get into how much each individual company gives you, but let's just take what United Healthcare, $90 per quarter. Let's just say every company gave you that same amount. Well, look at some of the prices here. $2, you get lip balm. Now, it's like a credit card. So you have $90 to spend per quarter. You go in, you get your lip balm. You go in, you get your toothbrush. Um, if you scroll down, Band-Aids, Q-Tips, it's all these over-the-counter products that you get with this senior flex card. Um, I could go, you get um, um, all, I, I mean, you, you look at the products here. You get aspirin is the word I was looking for. The top selling products, uh, hot and cold patches. There's so many different things. I've seen diabetic socks. Now, if you look, this is 28 pages long. I don't want to scroll through the whole thing, but there's so many different products that you get with this. Some of them are expensive. Like you see here, the Tylenol Extra Strength, $17. But I know people that have told me, seniors, my clients, I can't purchase enough on these flex cards. I literally go in and buy stuff because I have the money and I want to use it per quarter and I'm sending my grandkids Band-Aids and my, chill, my, my kids... Tylenol for, for the grandkids and, and vitamins and so forth. So you get a lot of money for, for the items that you need. Same thing with Humana over here. It's not as pretty, but they do have a, a chart with the prices, a PDF. And you see like Bausch and Loam, uh, antihistamine, um, eye drops are $15.00 nasal strips, uh, breathe right nasal strips, all these throat lozenges and, and lozenges sp and sprays. If you look down here for $3 and $7. So this is what the flex card is. It gives you money each quarter to go spend on over the counter. But should this entice you to buy 
one of these plans. Well, let me jump into that. I hope you you bear with me. So I'm going to show you now the prices of these things and you can make a decision on what you think the best plan is for you because this is all personalized. Of course, when you call my office, I try to speak to everyone that calls in the office, even if it's just for a 30 seconds or a minute. Um, but I want to go over um, the different plans here. So no matter what, the average person is going to pay, if you look down here, for the A and B card, people always get on me. They say, you do not mention this in your videos. Well, here I'm mentioning it. You're going to pay on average $164.90 per month for your A and B card. That's your first thing that you're going to pay for. Then you're going to have to decide, do I want a Medigap plan to cover the rest of what Medicare A and B does not cover? Or do I want to get a Medicare Advantage plan? And here in this, I'm going to take the two plans that I think go head to head together when you're looking at a Medicare Advantage plan, and that's the high deductible G plan, and show you what is better or which one's worse, or you make the decision. So if you look at the premiums, you have one that's a zero premium. Those are PPO and HMOs that I've seen. Then you have one that's $40. Let's move on to the next thing, which is hospital. Now, for the Medicare Advantage plans, your hospital stay is going to be $250 per day. And I have here for the high deductible plan, 20%. Now, the reason I have this 20%, as you see, it's going to be 20% for doctor, hospital, CAT scan, skilled nursing, is because you are going to pay the 20% that Medicare doesn't cover for the high deductible G plan up until this $2,700. After that, you pay nothing. So let me just give you a scenario. You go in the hospital, so you have a stroke, you go in the hospital, uh, you're there for four days, they send you to skilled nursing for three months, you go back to the hospital, you have some things done, then you have to go home. This is going to cost you at the most, even if you're in skilled nursing for uh, 80 days, it's going to cost you $2,700. That's the most you're going to spend. Now, some people would say, because I think this plan is pretty simple. Some people would say, well, what is the benefit of this high deductible G plan? Then I'll get into the Medicare Advantage plans. The benefit is, is because Medic, the original Medicare, this card down here, you get a high deductible G plan and you attach it to this original Medicare. And that's your full plan, basically, for hospital and doctor, which they say inpatient and outpatient. The reason why you would get this plan is because this is taken at over 98% of the hospitals and doctors in the country. You can go wherever you want. There's no networks. There, you never have to ask, do you accept my Medicare supplement high deductible G plan? The only question you have to ask is, do you accept Medicare? If they do, they will accept any of the high deductible G plans, whether it's AARP, United Healthcare, Aetna, Cigna, Humana, or smaller companies like Medico and Ace and some of the other smaller companies you might have heard of, uh, Lumico, United American, they will accept these high deductible G plans if they accept the original Medicare. Now, what's the downfall of, of the high deductible G? Why wouldn't people get it? Well, they do not come with a drug plan, so you have to get a separate prescription drug plan. And for some people, that's a plus because they don't take any drugs or they might take one or two generics, so they can get a plan for 5 or $10. For some people, they say, well, I want the drug plan attached to my plan, so they like the Advantage plan. So if you look at drug plan, that's part of it. Um, if we scroll over here, it also does not come with, this is high deductible G, the dental vision and hearing plan. So that might cost you 40 to $60 a month, whereas the Advantage plans, a lot of them have dental and vision and hearing for zero. Same thing with the drug plan. The Advantage plans have that for zero. Now, another thing, we'll scroll even a little bit further, is the annual physical. Advantage plans will have that. Medicare supplement, high deductible G, will not have an annual physical. And then we get down to what we're talking about today, which is the flex card, 
the Medicare supplement plans do not have that. Um, Advantage plans do. And the gym membership, many Advantage plans connect a gym mem- a free gym membership like Silver Sneakers or Active Fit or whatever it may be. Only some companies with the Medicare supplement high deductible G will have a gym membership. And then of course, neither one of these have long-term care nursing home coverage. But let's scroll back. So here is the real thing that you have to look at. And it's MOOP per year. That's maximum pocket, maximum out of pocket per year. This is the one question I always tell people. Some of these PPO plans or even HMO plans, but definitely PPOs, they might be $7,550 for the max out of pocket. Whereas for the Medigap, high deductible G, your max out of pocket is going to be $2,700. Now, that's a huge difference because if you're looking for what is the best medical coverage, inpatient coverage like hospital and skilled nursing and doctor and specialist coverage, you're going to want to look at the high deductible G plan. But if you want the full package and for zero premium with all the bells and whistles, meaning the drug plan, dental vision and hearing, the flex card, the gym membership, all of those stuff combined, you're going to want to look at the Medicare Advantage plan. I have in some other charts um, different Medicare Advantage plans where you see I give three different examples. You have one that's a PPO, one that or two that are PPOs, one that's an HMO. And really, if you look, they're all zero premium. And then you look at, and these Medicare Advantage are go, all going to give flex cards. So the video is about senior flex cards where here it is. These plans are going to give you that. But you see, HMO is going to be a little bit more restrictive where you can't go to certain hospitals and certain doctors. The PPO plans are less restrictive, meaning you go in network just like HMO, but you can also go out of network and pay a little bit more. But look at the hospital coverage. For the PPOs, you're going to pay $250 or $295, whereas the HMO, you're going to pay $50 per day. This is just an example. Um, I've seen these three plans. I'm not going to tell you which ones they are. Um, You can always call my office and ask, but these are the examples. I have a lot of clients that have gone from a PPO to an HMO because they wanted to save money for hospital stay, for specialists and so forth. And they, they're more homebodies, meaning they don't leave the general area where they live. And I started thinking to myself, why are they paying this, you know, for max out of pocket? Why pay more for a PPO plan? If all your doctors are in network, the hospital's in network. Go for an HMO. And here's the thing about both HMO and PPO plans. For emergency, if you are if you go to the emergency room outside of your state or whatever, if you're traveling, that emergency is covered. If it's a non-emergency, you have to go in network and, and, and so forth, and it might be you know, a pain in the neck. So if you're like a snowbird or something, you definitely want to do a PPO if you're going to do an advantage plan or a high deductible G plan or G itself. Um, But if you're a homebody, you don't travel that much, you should look at the HMO. Now check out the doctor here. PPOs are going to be around $35 for a a specialist, not so much a doctor. And for uh, an HMO, it could be $5 for a specialist. The CAT scans, same thing. It's going to be much cheaper for an HMO. Uh, For the PPOs, it could be $100, could be $300. And then of course, skilled nursing, Most of these plans, you get days 1 through 20 for uh, zero cost. Uh, Whereas the high deductible G, if you look over here, if we go back to this, um, skilled nursing, I put 20% here, but you get 100 days of skilled nursing. Um, But you pay that up to 2,700 first. Let's see if we scroll a little bit more. The only thing I put in here is that it comes with a drug plan, which is important to people. All three of these PPO and HMO plans come with a drug plan and dental vision and hearing. But the big thing is you want to look at this maximum out of pocket per year because you do not want to pay $7,550 one year and turn around and pay that the next year. 
and I'll explain to you why. Let's jump into this chart. And I, I'm sorry that I'm jumping around to different charts. I hope I'm going slow enough. But you might, might as well get a Medicare supplement plan and get the best hospital and doctor coverage, period. Because if you look at this, I have high deductible down here. Once again, you're always going to pay this $164.90 with the Medicare Advantage or with the Medigap plans. But if you look, I'll just put this right over the Medigap plan G. For someone who's 65, the premium is going to be around $140 a month. That's average for the entire country. The only other thing you're going to pay for inpatient and outpatient is $226 for the year as a deductible. Other than that, a hospital is going to be free. Doctor's visits and specialists, free. Zero, I should say. CAT scans, zero. Skilled nursing up to 100 days, zero. And if you're paying $140 per month, times that by 12, and I did it down here, that equals $1,680. And then you just add that $226, and that's your maximum out-of-pocket for the year. $1,906. So I'll scroll up. Sorry about that. That's going to be your maximum out of pocket for the year for hospital and, and specialists and physical therapy, all this stuff. So that's where the difference comes in. And when you look at these Medicare Advantage plans and these maximum out of pockets are so much more. But some people say, I'm healthy. I don't, you know, I'd rather take my chance on this. So it's really different. I'm jumping into different areas here because. That's the way Medicare is. You're going to want to either call my office. You're going to want a broker. So you're going to have to call my office and speak about your individual situation. But this is what I do. I go through these plans. Uh, people that I work with, we go through these plans with you and help you choose the right plan for yourself. Um, so let's just look at these, um, these plans right here. Another question that I get, I'm going to slow down and take a step back. Another question that I get all the time is why do you not have Medicare or Medigap plan F, Medicare supplement plan F? And the reason is, is because unless you were eligible for Medicare prior to 2020, you can't get on the plan. But that was only three years ago. So there's some people who are 70 years old who want the Medigap plan F. Well, when I do my videos, I, I need to start putting it in there because it's very important. I still give people Medigap Plan F. I still sign people up for that plan. The only difference between the G and the F is the G, you pay that $226 deductible for the year. F, you pay nothing. So it's the same as G. You pay your premium for F and then you pay. You don't pay this $226. You pay nothing. Everywhere you go, it's going to be zero for inpatient and outpatient. And people say, well, what's the difference between the premium? It depends where you live. A lot of times it's not that much more. So I have been putting people on plan F that are eligible for it as opposed to plan G. They want that zero payment. And then of course there's the discussion about, well, is F going to go up because the pool is getting smaller? And we, we discuss all of those things with you. I, I, I'm usually on the phone with people going over all sorts of different things. I actually love talking about Medicare and this stuff. Um, I love talking to the people out there. People are getting more and more informed and they want to get the best coverage. So I try to go over A to Z with everyone that I speak with. All right, so back to the flex cards. Keep in mind, this is for the Medicare Advantage plans. If you want to get on a Medicare Advantage plan and you want to look at these items and know, believe me, there's tons of items with the flex cards. It's just, let me click over here again. It's just one of the added benefits that you get with the Medicare Advantage that you do not get with any one of those plans. Plan G, Plan N, Plan High Deductible G, Plan F, or any of the Medicare supplement plans. So you have to make a decision. Do I want to get a Medigap plan because I want the freedom to go wherever I want without any questions asked? I want to go to the best doctors and hospitals in the country. I want to travel throughout the country and just go wherever. Or do I want a Medicare Advantage plan because I think it's going to save me money and I want all these extra gym membership, flex card, dental vision and hearing, drug plan attached to it. 
Anyhow, thanks so much for watching this video. Please click on my book below. Like I said, it goes directly to a link. You click on it, it goes directly to the book, not a link. Right to the book, you get to read it. It's 20 pages and I compacted all this information. There's also playlists in the description box below and you can always call me on my uh, office line. Like I said, I try to talk to every single person that calls in. I know people think, oh, well, a lot of people call in, so how are you going to speak to everyone? Believe me, um, seven days a week, I'm usually talking to people on the phone. Even if it's for two hours on a Sunday, I try to speak to everyone that calls in. Thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you at the next one.